Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. In this one, we have a brand new quest to support the action figure fusion events. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Supercard here. We got a couple things to take a look at. First up here is a deck update and a recap from this weekend where I did get the heroic Chad Gable from Road to Glory. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, just because it's tough to get all the way through a heroic Road to Glory without spending any credits. And I can confirm even with this new format that you do need to spend some credits to get a heroic version of an event card during Road to Glory. So I was like on my game this weekend. I was like bouts almost never filled up other than when I was sleeping and I was doing all my ad bouts and everything played almost I played all four days but I still needed to spend about 500 credits to get 11 of the point quadruplers is what I spent some credits on. And then with that, I finished with about two hours left in the event. So it was still pretty close on that. But yeah, so that confirms that you do, if you want to get the heroic for Road to Glory, you do need to spend credits. It's impossible to do it without spending credits or somehow being able to play overnight. If you can play 24 seven all the time, uh, for the entire weekend, then maybe you can get it without spending credits, but I personally can't do that. Unless you have like a joint account with a friend or something, so he plays when you're sleeping or you play when he's... I feel like that's too much dedication. I have no idea. Anyway, all that to be said, I was very close to getting it, so I thought I'd just spend these extra credits uh, and then get and then get the heroic, but I probably won't do it again in the future. I'm not really sure, especially since you can get them now from Giants Unleashed pretty easily. It's uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it to spend credits on that. But anyway, for now, I did get a single heroic of that. He is in my top 16 without being proed up just as a single right now so as soon as I pro him up he's, he's gonna be in my top eight for sure I don't know if he's gonna be my best card he might be I think he is gonna pass Jay honestly he might pass Jay because I think before Jay did all his matches actually Damian Priest was ahead of him even so I think Chad Gable will pass him for a very key reason that we'll talk about in a little bit here but other deck updates is I proed up this Gunther card which I also got the second one from Road to Glory so that's pretty awesome that I was able to pro that up I'm very close to no longer needing SummerSlam 23 males here once I do the Chad, I actually think I am done uh, based on what I have in my, what I have upcoming. If we take a look here, uh, we do have Wes Lee coming and then we also have Finn Balor, uh, two more pros on the male side and then plus Chad Gable that fills out my top 16. And honestly, it's been pretty good as far as arrow decks. So I'm going to get Chad Gable is going to fill up the down arrow there. Finn Balor is a right arrow, eh? No, he's a left. Okay, so Finn Balor is a left arrow. So Finn Balor is going to fill up the left arrows there. I mean, and then Joe Gacy. Oh yeah, Joe Gacy is a right arrow. I forgot that Joe Gacy is, is as good as a uh, Royal Rumble 23 there. So yeah, my right arrows are good. Finn fills up my last left arrow slot. Chad Gable will fill one more of my down arrows. And then Wesley is a down arrow. Yeah, so we'll fill So all I need after that is one more up arrow. One more up arrow male. Uh, and then I've not only finished my top 16, but also finished my arrow deck perfectly for SummerSlam 23. So that's a really good distribution there. And as you can see here as well, I also have a Selena Vega card, which is on the way as well. So I was very happy to get that. My females as usual, lagging a little bit, but we're inching along. I need a couple down arrows there to fill out my uh, female deck there, but uh, those will come eventually. As far as action figure cards, I got one more here in the Seth Rollins uh, for SummerSlam 23, but that's it. That's, I have that in the Becky Lynch and that's all I've gotten so far as far as SummerSlam 23 ones. I've gotten a couple like Myth um, and WrestleMania 39 and Royal Rumble, but like nothing that I'm going to use. So I'm hoping to get another Seth. Um, actually, I'm more hoping to get another Becky, honestly, just uh, for the pro, uh, just for pro females because I need those more. But I wouldn't mind a pro Seth for the action figure cards as well. So there's still a decent amount of time before the action figures event ends here, about four more days when you're watching this. So actually not that much time, but a little bit. I need to do some of these more punches. But yeah, hopefully I'll get another one there. Who's, who knows? Before we get into some more of the fusion stuff, let's take a look. Uh, we have uh, bunches of punches just reset for me, my free one. So this hasn't been going too well for me actually this time around. I haven't got anything good at all from this bunches of punches board. So I thought I'd do my punch with you guys since it just reset. Look how many I've done and I haven't freaking found anything. Let's do that one. And a arcane, whatever garbage garbage a lot of people like bunches of punches i'm not a fan of it honestly it's just like whatever you pick a random one and it's usually crap i've i don't think i've ever gotten anything that's really that good the best thing i've probably gotten from here is, is probably a couple of credits and i've even gotten the top reward on the first board before but it was just like a myth or like it was a lower card i'm sorry at the time i was in i think it would have been a wrestlemania 39 or something anyway 
All that to be said, I didn't need it, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, do you guys enjoy Bunches of Punches? I'm not personally a fan, but let me know what you think. But yeah, speaking of the action figure quest that's going on right now, or the, uh, sorry, action figure fusion event, there is a quest going on right now to support it, very similar to a bunch of the ones you've seen recently as far as uh, fusion ingredients. It's actually exactly the same with the repeatable nature. We saw it a bunch of times with the uh, summer uh, fusion event and the return of the summer fusion event. So uh, it's it's the same one again. So the first one here is you use your super move 10 times and you get three rings from that. Next up, you do you have one in the top five survivors twice and then you win one of those and then you can repeat that six times. The next one is currency collector. So you acquire eight tickets and then you complete it and you can repeat that one six times. And then that one, you get three stairs. The next one is play event, which is uh, once again, repeatable as well. You just have to play an event 10 times and you get three or sorry, two stairs from that. But I think you can do that one nine times if I'm not mistaken. I haven't beaten it yet, so I'm not sure. And then if you complete all of these once through, you get five rings from that. So you get a decent amount of extra collectibles from this. This is the primary way to kind of get collectibles in addition to pulling them off the board right now. now now that 24 seven championship mode is over. But yeah, going forward after 24 seven championship mode, this quest is the primary way to get the collectibles in addition to occasionally pulling them off the board. And then uh, they're gonna probably wrap up this event by the time everything is done. So that's the uh, quest going on right now, guys. I'd recommend to get on it because it does, especially these like top five survivors, if you wanna repeat it all six times, it does take it a decent amount of effort. So I'd say to get started on that as soon as possible. As mentioned earlier, guys, I'm gonna have a really good Chad Gable card because I didn't realize Giants Unleashed was gonna be this weekend. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be War Games. But anyway, Giants Unleashed is happening this weekend and I already got a single Fortified, as, or sorry, as I already got a single Heroic, as you saw from uh, Road to Glory the first time around. And now um, I'm gonna definitely get another Heroic from this Giants Unleashed as well. So I'm gonna have a double Heroic Chad Gable and this is the first time this might be honestly I don't knock on wood because let's hope I get it I'm not it's not always a hundred percent sure that I'm gonna get it but it's like 95 99 actually I think this is the first time I've ever gotten a double heroic it might be I think so I might be wrong in that I might have spent some credits early on to be able to get a double double heroic before but I have a strong feeling that this is my first time I've got a double heroic I've gotten single heroics obviously before that's that's interesting but I'll be, it'll be uh, nice to get a double heroic here anyway as usual we have the brand new Giants Unleashed back in here so this is the second time we're going through this brand new modified Giants Unleashed I'm super excited for it it was so much fun last time so I'm very much looking forward to it this time uh, we have the undercards here which is Eddie Guerrero uh, Cruz del Toro. So it looks like it has an LWO theme. And then uh, Walking Wild, this is Summertime 23, which I believe is a pro for me. And then we got Chad Gable, obviously, as the event card. Let me check a look at my mails here and check if uh, Walking Wild is a pro for me. I'm not seeing him, actually. Okay, maybe not. Or do I? Yeah, okay, I guess he's not a pro for me. I don't know why I thought he was. Anyway, no worries. Like I said, I don't need that many more pros anymore. And the one I do need is a up arrow. Yeah, it's an up arrow. That's the one I need. So, and it would have been good if it was, if I had a pro walking wild, cause I would have filled it out. But anyway, that's fine. So yeah, that's Giants Unleashed this weekend, guys. Let me know if you're gonna play through it. Are you gonna get a double heroic? I am probably gonna get a double heroic. Um, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think I will. Uh, since we have to go through a couple survivors to get, get those quests, I thought we'd do a survivor here, guys. There's not too much going on in the game right now, so let's get right into it. Yeah, Survivor frustrates me sometimes. Oh, we're playing with, I think we did SummerSlam 23 Women last time as well. Anyway, I like using the, the top cards in the game. Yeah, Survivor's been frustrating me lately as usual. Oh, we got, we got a pretty decent spread here. So I would usually get rid of Maxine over Bianca. I'm probably gonna do that again. I'm too afraid. The other, the other strategy is to keep Maxine and hope to get a bunch of Maxines because people want to get rid of them. But uh, how did I get Stat Master right now? I guess from King of the Ring. Uh, no, I got Indy Hartwell. Okay. So that was the fine move then. Okay. So we got a female toughness tag team. Let's go. Asuka and Bianca, of course, here. And I think, yeah, doesn't even have a tag team. So I assume this guy doesn't have any tag teams at all. Oh, I got it. Whoa, a lot of boost there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go Indy and Candice there. Very good first game here, actually. I'm liking the way that goes, although I don't have a pro off the bat, but it's okay. It's still pretty early. Even if I face someone with a pro in the next round, I could still squeak by with a victory. Oh, she had a Bianca, but she wouldn't give it to me. 
Ow shellfish. Okay, so I believe Indy Hartwell is the same arrow as Blair Davenport. So I want to I want to uh, preserve as many tie teams as I can. And Indy Hartwell has a chance to be a single fortified from my randomizer. So I'm gonna keep Indy Hartwell and I'll get rid of um, Blair Davenport. That is my strategy right now. Okay, so yep, getting rid of Blair. Oh shoot. Okay, that's not a good. That's not good right now. Okay, I got Blair back, of course. Let me go with Maxine, and I'm gonna give away Maxine again since I already gave one away. Uh, might as well give the other one away as well. Okay, so let's get rid of Maxine. Like I said, I do really need a pro at this point. So I'm hoping I get back a card that I can make into a pro here. Because going into round three with zero pros is not ideal. Kyle, if you would wake up, please, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. What are you going to give me? Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. This is really not good. Okay, let's go uh, Indy and Candice for a charisma here. For Riz, as the kids would say. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I snuck out with this. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Very good. I hope they don't have a pro. Let's go, Asuka. Uh, oh, okay, that was a good move. Okay, I was about to press Zoe just in case they had a pro, but I went with Asuka and that was the right move. And we'll go with Zoe here. It doesn't really matter anymore. Okay. So I got Indy. I'm going to get rid of uh, Asuka. And uh, there's, I, I think I have to get a pro at this point. There's no point. There's no way I can't because I have a couple in there with three. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I have a couple, I have a couple cards in my randomizer with three superstar anyway let's get rid of oscar because zoe would be a double fortified or fortified at some point oh my god barely just indy okay so i'm gonna keep candace for tag team zoe's gonna be a, a, a fortified if i uh hold on to her i have a better chance to get a fortified so i'm getting rid of bianca which is not ideal but it's what's got to be done. And hopefully I get either a yellow or an up arrow or a left arrow. So I have two tag teams in my deck here. This is going to be a really tough round for me. Okay, I got Maxine back. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a terrible round, dude. Uh, I really needed that victory and I'm not going to get it. Ah, damn it. Now if he has a pro, I am done, which I assume he does. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's okay. A single loss so far. It's not detrimental. Detrimental. Oh yeah, two pros. <laughs> so there's no chance of me winning that match at all. Um, it's not detrimental. A loss at the third round, but it's not ideal. We do have our first pro now. Hopefully we get another one because I need to. I need to rack them up quickly now. Because some people like realistically at this point. They can have three pros like there's some or someone like probably not probably not but it's possible for somebody to have three pros at this point and for me to just be getting my first that's a little bit worrisome because i'm going to be behind the eight ball here so i'm going to pro up indy hopefully i'll get candace back so i can knock out that tag team i have a pro tag team at least and then uh and then we can go from there so let me pro up Indy Hartwell there. Damn it, really? Raquel. Crap. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of Maxine because I need a tag team with Indy. So it's going to either be Raquel or Candice here. And I don't have any more uh, Maxines in my randomizer. This is not good, guys. I really need someone to give me a pro right now. This is my like last hope. Uh, give me a Zoe. Give me a Zoe Stark. Actually, do I want Zoe Stark or do I want... No, I got Maxine. Oh no! Okay, I'm I'm gonna go singles with with Indy here because I just need to win and I lost that for sure against Raquel. Yeah, that's over. I lost this match too. Ah, oh, okay. Things were going well for me at the beginning, but um, I, I just didn't rack up pros quick enough. And I know I'm talking like I've I'm done here, but I still have one more loss. But at this point, I feel like I'm not gonna get too much farther especially without a pro coming. Maxine has more charisma than Candice LeRae. Don't even tell me that. Yeah, 
this is not looking good. Yeah, see, I should have kept, if I kept Maxine at the beginning and got rid of Bianca, I would have had like a pro, I would have had a single fortified Maxine by now. See what I mean? See what I mean? Would I have a single fortified or a double fortified? A lot of people going out this round. If soup wins, then we got three people knocked out this round. Which actually, if I at least can make it to the top five, I'll be a bit happy so I can at least progress toward the quest. D-Rock beat Soup. I never thought I'd say that. Um, let's trade Maxine again. Okay, and there's at least Candice LeRae. So I got Candice LeRae now. I'm, I think I'm still going to keep Zoe just because I know Raquel would be good overall for tag teams and stuff, but I could still get a single fortified Zoe going forward and I'm still thinking about this critically even though I'm pretty much done at this point let's see what happens here uh yeah let's get rid of Raquel Rackle bye bye Rackle I got Rackle back okay <laughs> oh my god okay what is happening here yeah I'm not winning this that's for shizzle yeah okay um maybe I mean it might be, I know I'm not going to win the survivor, but it might be worth it to use a super move just to get in the top five. Let me go with Indy here. Nice. Okay. Let's see what I could win this female solo. Cause he only has two pros. Let's set, let's, let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. It's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> Who's going to move on? Oh, what? It's already telling me I tried to survive. So it already knew I went out. So it knows before it even does the randomizer who won and who lost. That's BS. Oh my God. Supercar just exposed themselves. They know as soon as they do the tie, which wrestler won and which or which super. Oh my God. Seventh place. An embarrassing performance here, guys. I'm sorry about that. I take full owner. Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. I should have claimed this first. Whoops. I take full ownership over that survivor loss, guys. That was terrible on my end. My apologies. But stay tuned for Giants Unleashed this weekend, guys. I'm very excited to get that double fortified. Uh, du I keep saying double fortified. Double heroic Chad Gable. And then hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more action figure cards. And then before you know it, guys, it's already September. So we're going to be going through the September Battle Pass, the September calendar, and the September Superstore reset in the next episode. So I'm super excited for that. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Enjoy the subscribe button right underneath me here. Some more videos on the right, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.